Good morning all, it's Gav here from dartsplanet.tv and today I'm going to be doing a video on the lineup for the quarterfinals of the Players Championships from Minehead and also the results of how they got here. Now some of the players that have got here, I've got to take my hat off to them because I did write them off in round one in my predictions, then I wrote them off in round two. So uh, there is a few shocks, I'm sure many of you will agree, there's, if you're being honest there's a lot of players um, in the quarterfinals today that you did not expect to be there. So I think you know this is a very open tournament and a chance for one of these to really grab um, you know, this title here this weekend. So first of all, let's go through the eight players that are left in it. So we've got Rob Cross, who we know is um, in awesome form at the moment anyway. We've got James Wade. It's nice to see him having a really good tournament because he's not been um, at his best recently. Johnny Clayton, of course, won a player's um, event earlier this year. He's now made it to the quarterfinals. Steve Beaton, the Adonis, you know, it's always a very, very good floor player. Don't often make it so, nowadays so much into the later um, bits of a tournament, so that's good. Daryl Gurney, we know is making the most, you know, getting deep into most events anyway, so that's not too much of a surprise. Justin Pipe, I writ off big time in round one and round two, and here he is, so congratulations to him. MVG, you know, tournament favourite. Will he win it? I would probably think so. If I had to bet my money, it would be on him. And then Jan Decker, again, I writ him off big time in round one and round two. So let's have a look at the players and how they've got through to the quarterfinals. So Rob Cross in round one, he beat Robert Owen 6-2. He then beat Steve um, Lennon 6-2, and then he beat Jackpot last night in, in a match 10-6. So that was his route to the quarterfinals. Johnny Clayton in round one um, beat Jeffrey Jidgraf 6-4. He then beat Iceman Girl in Price, great win there, 6-2. And then he had a good win again yesterday when he beat Stephen Bunton 10-8. Michael Van Gerwen's run, he beat Nicholson 6-2. He wasn't that pleased with himself in that game, but he won that one 6-2. Steve West 6-2, then he beat Darren Webster 10-5. We've got Daryl Gurney, who beat Jeffrey Dazan in the first round 6-0. He then beat Robbie Green 6-3 and Chris Doby 10-5. Uh, Jan Decker, writ him off as I said, but he's done really well. And he's had a really tough route to the final, I think. He beat Bully Boy in the first round, Michael Smith 6-3. Then he beat the Wizard 6-5, Whitlock. Then he beat Peter Jacks 10-5. So congratulations to you as well, Jan. You know, great results there to get to this stage. Justin Pipe, I never thought in a million years that he would get to this stage. I'm not saying sort of X amount of years ago he wouldn't have done, but especially not now. So Justin Pipe, anyway, he went through in round one. He beat Webster 6 Three. Then he beat Ron Moonkamp 6-5. Then he beat William O'Connor 10-9 in the um, yesterday. Um, Steve Beaton. Um, he beat Ronnie Hybrick 6-4. He beat Yella Klassen 6-4. I never I've had Klassen for that all day long, but he beat him 6-4. Then he beat Jermaine, what I mean, at 10-9. Then we finish off with Wade. Like I say, he's having a great tournament at the moment. It's nice to see him doing well again. Um, he beat Kevin Painter in the first round 6-4. Then he beat Jamie Cave in 6-4. Then he beat Ian Diamond White 10-6. So they are the eight players in the quarterfinal um, this weekend. So what I'm going to do now is, like I said, I don't want to keep the video too long, but I'm going to quickly run through my predictions for today. I want you guys to leave your comments below. Who's been the surprise package for you? Um, or, or have, you know, I would imagine there's two or three that probably have. Who do you think is going to win the tournament and what are your predictions? Leave a comment below and, you know, I'll always get back to you. So my prediction for the quarterfinals of the Players Championship Finals in my head are, here we go, it is. I think that Rob Cross is going to beat James Way 10-5. There we go. It's. I just think Cross has is, is, got too much at the moment. Although James Wade's had a great tournament. I think that Johnny Clayton is going to get the better of Steve Beaton, um, especially after his event earlier in the year. He's on a good run at the moment, playing well, and I think he'll come through this one 10-7. Daryl Gurney against Justin Pipe. I'm sorry, Justin. I know I've written you off in round one and round two, and I'm going to again in this one. I think that Gurney's got too much, and I think that Daryl Gurney will win this one easily 10 3. And last but not least, MVG, whoever he was playing, I would have predicted him to win, if I'm being honest, because I think that he's going to go on and win it. But I think that he will brush Jan Decker aside 10 3. So they are. 
my predictions for the quarterfinals of um, this afternoon. Not long now, just having a look at the clock. Uh, only got about an hour to go, so I'm getting really excited. It'll be the first time over the weekend I can sit down, chill out, relax and enjoy it all. As always, danceplanet.tv will be scanning for videos that are uploaded onto YouTube, so you guys can join that. Um, and watch them on there if you miss anything. Also got a little bit of exciting news with that. It won't be long before we're adding a point system, so the more videos you watch, not just watching the darts, you'll get little rewards for that as well. So if you enjoy my channel, please subscribe, please share it, um, and don't forget to leave your comments. You'll know I always get back to you. As always, it's been really great. Hope you enjoy the darts as much as I do this afternoon, and I'll catch you guys soon. Bye.